What's up everybody and welcome to this video. So it's finally done. We've handed in our keys to our old apartment and right now we are pretty much homeless. Well, not exactly homeless because my brother and his wife have been so kind that they are allowing us to stay at their place. So we are staying at their apartment for the next two weeks until we leave for Spain. This is the second to last big change that we are doing before leaving for the world trip. The next one will be, well, me finishing my job or well quitting my job. I've already handed in my resignation, but I will be working four more days until Thursday. Well, until tomorrow by the time this video is uploaded. And then I'll also be jobless. I'll use this chance to show you my brother's apartment, which I think is pretty awesome because it's huge, especially for an apartment in Switzerland. So this is the guest bedroom, which also means that it is the room where we will be staying for the next two weeks. It's got a good size, it's even got a closet up here and some drawers down there and a pretty large bed. But as you can see, it's pretty messy at the moment because all our stuff is here. Everything that we will be taking to the world trip, but also things that we need for the next two weeks, like for example, my working clothes, which we will get rid of after this. But now let's get to the more interesting things. So back here, this is the forbidden room. We are not allowed to enter it. I don't even know if you can hear my whispering, but I don't want to know what kind of things happen there. So let's move on and let's go see the more interesting things in this apartment. So back here, that's the kitchen. It's actually a pretty small kitchen compared to how big this apartment is. It's actually pretty much the smallest room in the whole apartment. But this is where the cooking magic happens because, well, everyone in here is a very good cook except me. If I turn around, this is the more interesting area. This is the living room and, well, the eating room, I guess, the dining room, if you can call it that. We brought our cat tree here. Also, the cats are here, of course. This is the table. There's a lot of room over here, but especially well, I guess this lens makes it look a little bit smaller than it is, but believe me, it's really huge. It's my old TV over there. They needed this because until now they had like a 42 inch TV. Who's got a 42 inch TV when they are sitting five meters from the TV? No. I mean, 55 inches is still too small, but at least now you can see something on the TV. They've even got a fireplace down there. And yeah, huge couch and back there, well, that's the so yeah, this is the balcony, as you can obviously see. I think it's very nice what they've done with this balcony. I like the floor and the seats and stuff like that. And sorry for the construction noise around us, but way bigger than the one we had before. Although it is smaller than the one we had in our old apartment uh, more than one year ago. Still, they've got barbecue grill, which is very important and some cleaning stuff that I almost threw down. And a nice view. Well, this is a nice view. As you can see, the weather is not the best at the moment and they are building some new apartments over there. So that's why it's noisy at the moment. There's one thing that I don't like about this balcony because of the cats, it's this up here. They can easily jump up here and then get onto the roof, which, well, doesn't make me comfortable leaving the cats outside without supervision. That's why I have to shoot the cat in right now. Good. So this is everything on the ground floor, but ta-da! They've even got an upper floor. So it's some stairs to go up and then what do we have up there? A cat. It's a bit narrow here, but this is the gaming corner, as you can see. A huge plasma TV, like the last one in whole Switzerland, I think. Some nice couches, a view down to the balcony, and now comes the biggest room. Well, the biggest room besides the living room, I guess, which is like the Hobie room. Although at the moment, it's maybe not the best time to visit it. So now this is the last room in the apartment. It's, well, it's huge, it's the office room, it's the gym, and it's also where my parents are staying at the moment. You can see down there, my poor parents has, are sleeping on the floor. I offered them to sleep downstairs, so Evelyn and I could sleep up here on the floor, but they are too proud to let us sleep up here. Their loss, I guess. That's my brother's gym back there. This is my provisional setup for 
editing and also doing some gaming although at the moment there's no much gaming possibilities because my parents are here until friday but after that i'll be able to do some gaming in the evening with my friends and like there is my brother's setup for gaming of course but also for home office sometimes although at the moment he's not doing any home office anymore because they need him at his company working right there so this is pretty much the whole apartment but there's actually one thing that i really love about this apartment although many people would probably hate it so at the moment it's a bit difficult to show it but let me check my phone and then i'll set up the camera so you can see it maybe i will have to film that part in a few hours or tomorrow or this night but this is the apartment so far so let's cut to the next part of this video which i don't know when i'll be filming So what did I tell you? Isn't it awesome? I mean, for me it's really, really awesome. Yes, of course, right now there aren't many flights going on because of the whole COVID-19 situation, but still I really love the airport. I love planes, probably because I love traveling and for me it's like a symbol of traveling, traveling far away especially. And that's why I really enjoy this location. I like looking at the airplanes when they are landing right over the head, because the airport is really like well, it starts about one kilometer in that direction and I can be there in five minutes with the bus. Actually, even less than five minutes. It's three stations with the bus, I think, or two. But yeah, that's actually pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you in this video, or maybe not. Let me give you some updates about the whole world trip situation. As I've mentioned before, I've quit my job. I'll be only be working until tomorrow by the time you see this video. After that, I won't have a job for a while. Evelyn will also not have a job for a while and will be homeless and traveling around. First on July 14th, maybe, we'll go to Spain. The thing is though that the flight to Spain has been cancelled. But, oh, I think a plane is arriving, maybe. Anyways, the flight has been cancelled, but not because we cannot travel to Spain, but only because there are not many people demanding flights, so they are cutting flights and not offering every flight. We can still go on the same day, a few hours later, but maybe we will move it one day forward or back. We haven't decided anything about that yet. You guys will think about that as soon as I've had my last day of work. As it looks at the moment, we will not be going to Canada and the US where we were supposed to be going on July 28th or 29th, I'm not really sure. And you probably can hear the airplane, another one is landing. But what is sure is that we will be going to Mexico if they don't decide to close the borders again. But as it is at the moment, many parts of Mexico are open for tourists and we are supposed to be there by August 18th. Now the question is, what will we be doing between July 28th and August 16th? Maybe we'll go to Costa Rica, maybe we'll have a stopover somewhere in Europe. But everything is open, the world trip is still happening. Somehow there will be less planned stuff and more improvisation. But that's also a good thing that will make us grow, I guess. It's everything for now. Because I was still able to upload the video every week so far. And I aim to keep on going like this. And as soon as we start the trip, I'll be trying to do some kind of daily vlogs or maybe a vlog every second day. And I'm actually considering making a new channel for purely traveling vlogs. But that's everything for now. Saying it again for the third time, I think. So thank you very much for watching and see you again next week. Bye bye.